Welcome to the Tech Connect Podcast. It's time to get connected. everyone, I'm Dean Reverman. We're here with Mark Fraker at Blue Stars Tech Connect Podcast Studios. And today we are talking about Tech Connect, the program that Blue Star uh, has in place. And actually, let's start right there, Mark, because Tech Connect, what is Tech Connect? I thought we used to have ISV Connect. <laughs> Dean, you're absolutely right. Um, you know, over the years, we branded ISV Connect. I think Blue Star became known for the number one software a channel program. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, a couple of things happened in 2019. Um, one of them being that as we started talking to more of these tech companies that w had the newer technology, so mm -hmm. I'm talking about uh, AI, mm -hmm. AR, blockchain, deep learning, uh, and such, you know, these tech companies do not think of themselves as ISVs, independent mm, software true. vendors, right? Right. If you ask them what they wanted to be, they didn't say, when I grow up, I want to be an independent software vendor. It was, you know, I want to own a tech company. Mm. So we changed the name mm -hmm. to Tech Connect for technology software companies. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the other thing that in 2019, there were 100,000 um, technology software companies in North America. And by 2027, they're predicting that there'll be a million so if we have all these new types of technologies companies coming on, most of them being owned by millennials, mm -hmm. uh, we thought we better step up uh, the game, brand it the correct way, and change it to Tech Connect. So I got you. That's the reason, Dean. So you know, makes it a, a healthier channel play too. I, I guess is your point here, right? The the world of software technology companies continues to grow exponentially. Was it a million, you said, by uh, 2027? A million by 2027, uh, yeah. So we need to be in tap with that uh, as, as, as a channel, uh, as a universe, if you will. Okay, so what if we had, as you said, ISV Connect was the most successful program in the, in the channel to date. What if they're already a member of ISV Connect? Do they need to enroll in the Tech Connect program? No, they don't. Uh, if they were in our ISV Connect program, we automatically ported them right into the mm -hmm. Tech Connect program. Mm -hmm. uh, we did do a few upgrades. So anybody who was in ISV Connect, you will receive a call from our uh, Tech Connect uh, uh, team at Blue Star. And probably happened, uh, COVID-19 threw a little bit of wrench into mm -hmm. everybody's life. So mm -hmm. we'll be doing some of this in the beginning of H2, as well mm -hmm. as what we've been doing in H1 of uh, 2020. But you will get a call and work with them on one-on-one -on -one to uh, see some of the new value adds that we have and do a little bit of uh, profiling of where they fit within the actual Tech Connect program. Mm -hmm. I gotcha. Um, but what if they're a new company? Right. So we're still taking on yeah. new software companies. How would they register to become a part of Tech Connect? So that's really easy. And that that's something that was part of the changes that we incorporated at the beginning of the year. Mm -hmm. Very simple. All you have to do is go to the Tech Connect uh, portion of the BlueStarInc.com uh, public domain sites. Mm -hmm. uh, you can click on uh, submit. Mm -hmm. And when you click on submit, you're going to go through, answer some questions, help define your type of uh, technology software mm -hmm. company. After you uh, fill out the form and then you submit it, it comes to our Tech Connect program. And that group takes all of your information. We actually built a configurator and it runs uh, the configurator program. Mm -hmm. And it comes back with a numeric score. Mm. And from this numeric score, we can tell exactly which value adds that are probably best suited for your technology company based <laughs> on a couple of things. So mm -hmm. one, it's based on the maturity of your uh, Tech Connect company, mm -hmm. right? So number one, are you in the early stages of seeding and coming out with a brand new product? Uh, are you entering your growth stage where maybe you're trying to define uh, in development? Should you have an indirect or a direct sales model? Uh, maybe it's in the final stage, the fourth stage, which would be um, where you're going to look at possibly exiting or recreating yourself 
and maybe going through an M&A process. Mm. So we look at all of that. And the other curve that we look at is called the uh, hype curve of mm -hmm. technology. And this is a curve that if you look at any of the technologies, RFID or, or whatever, mm -hmm. I think RFID is probably the best one to demonstrate it is, you know, back in 2020, uh, excuse me, back in 2015, mm -hmm. uh, they said, this is a year of RFID, mm -hmm. right? And mm -hmm. then 2016 came and they went, this is the year <laughs> of RFID. And 2017, once again, this is the ultimate year mm -hmm. of RFID. Mm -hmm. In essence, it's been going on and on. So that curve looks sort of like this and then comes up gradually on the end. That's important to us in the Tech Connect program mm -hmm. because based on the maturity of the company, based on whatever is the primary technology that you are utilizing in your solution, mm -hmm. from that and some of these other questions, it gives us a really good idea of some of the challenges that you're facing and what are the value adds that we have that fulfill those challenges and help you scale? I so, got gotcha. you. Yeah. So they're registering. They're giving us information on what their company is, where they operate, uh, those types of things. The Tech Connect team is then taking that information, evaluating it, and applying what value adds are going to be helpful in helping them grow their business. Because at the end of the road, it sounds like that's what the Tech Connect program is all about, right? Accelerating their growth uh, within the channel. So. Is this open to any type of technology software companies? I mean, what, what kind of, okay, what are yeah. we looking for here? So any technology company, mm -hmm. right? I mentioned some of them earlier, you know, augmented reality, mm -hmm. um, artificial intelligence, blockchain, uh, autonomous anything, mm -hmm. right? Um, we're also looking at deep learning, um, as well as, you know, some of the other ones, digital signage. Um, mm -hmm. It could be... Uh, digital transformation, ADC, RFID, IoT. So any of the technologies that are coming about fit into this program. Mm -hmm. uh, we built it so that we could scale into any of the technologies that are out there right now. And I'm sure in the years to come, there'll be new ones that will come into the fold and we will have to adapt uh, to those technologies as well to be able to support those uh, companies. I gotcha. I gotcha. So when, when, if I was a, a software development company or a technology software company and thinking to myself, you know, I'm, I'm pretty good in the, in, in where I'm at, I have this direct sales model. Do I need the Tech Connect program or does the Tech Connect program work for me? Uh, so does it matter if you have yeah. a direct or indirect sales? It, it doesn't matter if you're indirect or direct, but you know there are components for the direct model like our appware mm. uh, campaigns, which really drive end user leads to uh, a direct uh, sales model tech company and allows them to close a business. You know, a lot of those tech companies, when they're talking to us and say, help me scale, help me grow my business, and it's direct, you know, a lot of them, it's like this, just get me up to the plate. Mm -hmm. Just get me up to the plate. I can hit singles, doubles, and triples all day long, and I'll hit some home runs too. Just get me up to the bat. Mm -hmm. So that's what the Appware program does. Mm -hmm. We send them leads, it gets them up to bat. It is uh, automated 100%. Leads are coming to them in real time. Uh, so that they get acted on, not the same day, not the same hour, but within minutes. Mm. And we've gone as far as adding everything from uh, a lot of artificial intelligence and chatbots to help out with this, to automated emails and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Now, for those people who want to go out and, let's say, scale and go from a direct sales model to an indirect model, uh, we've got uh, 11,200 plus resellers mm. And our ecosystem mm -hmm. throughout the Americas and Europe, <clears throat> and I'll, every one of them at some time look at possibilities and what other revenue streams they can have. And so mm -hmm. they're always looking as, you know, what other solutions can I pick up? So it's a great way for us to help them scale. We know a lot of those uh, resellers extremely well, and we can help pair them up. Uh, so that they can have the right resellers in the right regions in the right countries uh, supporting their solutions. And I come to understand not just on the reseller side, but part of the magic of the Tech Connect program is tapping them into manufacturers as well. Is that true? A absolutely. Uh, we have all types of um, vendor lines that mm -hmm. they're not familiar with at all. In mm -hmm. fact, 
you know, the 900,000 that we were talking about that are mm -hmm. coming out by 2027, mm -hmm. it's amazing. A lot of those uh, tech company solutions reside on a smartphone or a consumer type device. Mm -hmm. They're not even aware of all of the purpose-built devices that in a B2B model are necessary for success. So we introduce them to the best of breed vendors that we have. We have close to 300 vendors that we represent worldwide. Uh, this opens up the door for partnering with them as well as the service companies to help provide additional services for them in the field if they can't scale yeah. to a new state or mm -hmm. a new country or a new continent and whatnot. Um, you know, lastly, I think what's important is we have a, a program called Global Care. Mm -hmm. And Global Care is where we introduce them to the Blue Star executives when they're looking at scaling into another country or another state uh, or another kind of two. Mm -hmm. What are the taxation? What are the business laws? Mm -hmm. uh, what do they need in the form of finance with different financial institutions, banking, accounting, and so on. So the global care is Blue Star is a global company. We went through all of these challenges mm -hmm. as we uh, matured mm -hmm. over the years, and we've taken that knowledge base and put it into our global care. The one thing that I think people have to realize about Blue Star, when you look at our executive team, mm -hmm. the average tenure is in excess of 17 years. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of knowledge that mm -hmm. is through all of our groups as we matured over the years and scaled, you can tap into that resource and help some of the challenges in scaling your own company globally. But that's not the only place, I guess, that the Tech Connect program ends as far as the value adds that they're bringing. So, we, you know, we've talked about the global care uh, and things like that. But there's some other things that they can tap Absolutely. into as yeah. well. Um, let's talk. Let's dive into some of those or at least just touch on some of them. We've got things like the in-a-box solution, right, right. Uh, as a part of the Tech yep. Connect program, hybrid SaaS. Let's, let's talk about a couple of those. Sure. So in-a-box, uh, we trademarked about 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. It's a great way to take your solution and build one box, one SKU to go out and market. Mm -hmm. You can take multiple types of hardware, multiple types of software, services, contract, training, everything, put it into one box and go out and market it and deploy it that way. Mm -hmm. um, the hybrid SaaS that you talked about is the most unique um, financing model in all of the channel today. Mm -hmm. uh, it's agnostic to any vendor, any software. So once again, you build your bundle out, take multiple hardware, software, services, and you can go out and offer it in a true subscription-based model and an OPEX where you offer it to your end users in a monthly payment over three, four, five years. Uh, but the reseller, if they shall choose, can be paid 100% upfront, Dean. Hmm. Or if they want to participate in reoccurring revenue, they could be paid 100% over the monthly huh. uh, 36 months, 48 or 60 months of the contract. Yeah. And finally, I think the other great thing about the hybrid SaaS is we even have a rip and replace uh, program that they can layer over the top of that uh, subscription base. Mm -hmm. Great thing about it is technology is changing so rapidly right now. We're going from 4G to 5G. Uh, I think everybody's customers want to take advantage of the newest technology, stay competitive in their market. Mm -hmm. So rip and replace. After 36, 48, or 60 months, we rip all the hardware out, all of the software out, and we put in the newest form factor hardware, best of breed, new software, new services, and start that con contract over again. That makes that solution so sticky for our resellers that no one's going to come into their customer and knock them out of the box. Mm. They're there for good. Mm -hmm. So we've got in-a-box solutions helping them bundle up with other uh, components along the way as well. We've got financial services that are helping them uh, as well. We can help with marketing too, I, I come to understand, right? Oh, yeah, uh, definitely. Through AppWare. So let's, let's talk about that because a lot of this, uh, obviously, a lot of these uh, software companies need help in this right. regard and, and getting the message out. 
Well, there's actually two programs. So there's one called Varcom, mm -hmm. and the other one's called AppWare. Mm -hmm. um, AppWare is an end user demand generation program, which we've perfected over the years. Uh, mm -hmm. And we go out and we, we drive leads up through the channel to that specific tech company. Mm -hmm. If they want to sell them direct, they can sell those leads direct, or they can take those leads and disperse them amongst their reseller channels and have them sell it. Mm -hmm. Um, but all these campaigns uh, that Blue Star does in Appware, uh, there's a lot of sophistication behind the scenes and how we're triangulating what the interest level is, uh, how the leads are automatically coming over to the um, software companies mm -hmm. so that they can follow them up. Uh, we're even taking them to certain landing pages where we're monitoring all of the movement on mm -hmm. those pages for uh, the uh, software companies as well. Varcom, on the other hand, is an extension of or replaces their entire marketing department that they have. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, some of the newer companies, their marketing departments are not as developed as they should be. Mm -hmm. um, they can come in and they can get telemarketing services. They can get web shop services, website services. They can get uh, email blasts. Mm -hmm. They can get uh, direct and indirect uh, marketing. Um, it, it's it's literally a marketing department that we put together and is priced not as a profit center, but as a cost center. Mm -hmm. And it's there for our customers to use and build their business mm -hmm. and find some incremental new retail with honed in marketing resources that work. They're proven. We've been doing them for over three decades. Hmm. So we've got the we've got the client base or the customer base, if you will. We've got the vendor base to help them uh, expand their ecosystem. Financing, in a box solutions, we can help them market it. But let's go back to that ecosystem real quick. Um, you know, Blue Star does a lot of events uh, over the years. Oh, um, let's talk lot. about the networking aspect of Tech Connect and what that kind of brings to the table as well. So across Europe and uh, the Americas, we probably put on around 60, 65 shows uh, a year. Uh, these shows go anywhere from around 25, 30 people all the way up to approximately 2,000 people. Each of them are very specific. Some are regional shows, some are vertical shows, uh, some are themed shows, and some cross all technologies and all verticals. But at the end of the day, what we're doing is we're taking our new uh, tech uh, company partners and exposing them to the channel and to new partnerships that are out there. And I think that's the most important thing, whether it is tabletops, whether it is speaking engagements, whether it is to uh, be on panel discussions mm -hmm. or to participate in Code Zone. Uh, which would be like our trade show presence where there might be, you know, 150 exhibitors on a floor. They can participate in that. Uh, we have all types of programs from Tech Connect Live, uh, Tech Connect Tour, mm -hmm. um, and then uh, we even bring them up on stage at our largest show and they get uh, 90 seconds to mm -hmm. say, this is who we are, this is what we're do doing. Mm -hmm. And I came to Vartech because I'm looking for X, mm -hmm. and I can guarantee you that X is sitting in that audience of 2,000 people out there. Mm. So, folks, uh, hopefully it's become a little bit more clear now of why Tech Connect, Blue Star's Tech Connect program, is truly the channel's number one accelerator uh, for technology software development companies. So, if you have further questions or need further information, feel free to reach out to your Blue Star representative for more.